Hello there, Dave Doggett here. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you exactly how I came up with a little solution to a bit of a problem I had. Um, see, I've been a, a huge fan of WordPress for a very long time. I still am actually. In fact, many of my websites, the one you're looking at here now, uh, my personal web portal, uh, my multiple streams of income podcast, all these websites are built on WordPress and they're managed and hosted. Uh, I set those up myself. So I'm quite familiar with installing plugins and whatnot. But the issue that I ran into recently was that I had almost all of my WordPress sites hacked uh, it was a major headache, uh, and in the resolution process, I decided that at least my primary website, which is salesvideos.com, my primary service that I offer the world is producing sales videos for businesses, opportunities, that kind of stuff. I'm not trying to sell you anything on this video tutorial today, uh, but I just want to tell you my story. So after being hacked, I realized that, you know, at least my primary website, uh, that's the most important one I need to ensure is online all of the time and functioning correctly. I'm going to give Squarespace a try. I heard some good things about Squarespace. Um, so I, I did. I set up sales videos on Squarespace. Been very happy. Extremely professional system. Elegant looking sites. Mobile friendly. Fantastic. One of the biggest issues I had, however, was that on my WordPress sites, I had PrettyLink. It's a plugin called PrettyLink. Uh, there's a free version, PrettyLink Lite and PrettyLink Pro if you need more advanced features. And I had that set up so it was tracking all of my affiliate links. So for example, on my resources page, I had uh, affiliate links for uh, GetResponse, uh, Bluehost, GoDaddy, all these things. And when I was set up on Squarespace, I realized that that wasn't possible because PrettyLink is a WordPress plugin. So I started scratching my head and started to think of a, a workaround for this that I could, I could come up with. So this is particularly helpful for people who have a Squarespace site or a Weebly site or Wix or GoDaddy website builder, blogger. Uh, whatever you have, if it's not a WordPress site that's self-hosted, this should be of interest to you if you want to track your affiliate links. Uh, I'm not reinventing the wheel. I'm just kind of merging a couple technologies here. So the first thing that you want to do is create a bit.ly account, B-I-T-L-Y dot com. Um, and I, I've actually created a blog post, which you may be reading at the time, uh, and I've got links to Bitly and all these things referenced in here. So this is this is only a five-step process, very simple. Uh, set up a Bitly account, and uh, once you have your Bitly account set up, go into your Squarespace account. So I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to do this. Once you're back in your Squarespace account, you should have a, a couple different tabs open here. Uh, once you're in a Squarespace account, what you need to do is go to settings in the website section, go to advanced, and then you're looking for URL mappings, okay? Now, this may be a little intimidating if you're not a, a, a very technical person, but this doesn't have to be very complicated, and you can just refer to this anytime, follow these steps. So keep in mind, in this tutorial, I'm just going through the process on how to use URL mappings in Squarespace. If you're using Weebly, there's an SEO uh, add or redirect, and in whatever other website builder you're using, there's probably a, a URL redirection area. So you'll need to check that uh, information accordingly. So for example, it shows you an example of redirecting a URL using the URL mappings. So for example, on my previous sales videos website that was a WordPress hosted site, not hosted on wordpress.com, but it was a WordPress site self-hosted. Um, the link to one of my blog articles was uh, this URL right here. And on the new blog within my Squarespace site, it is now this URL. 
CourseSalesVideos.com is the given before this. Um, the 301 and uh, 302 codes afterwards, after your URL mappings, just means if it's a permanently redirected link or a temporary redirected link. So in this case, I'm using 301 because I'm always going to have these redirections. All right, so let's get to the affiliate link tracking. How does that work? One of my affiliate links that I want set up here on my sales video site is for FreshBooks. FreshBooks is a uh, accounting system, very affordable, that lets you keep track of uh, all your invoicing and expenses and all that stuff. I wanna be able to provide that as an affiliate link within my articles and my emails and whatnot. So what I'm doing here is I have set this FreshBooks so salesvideos.com slash freshbooks, which will redirect to this bit.ly link. So what I have done is I have pasted my actual FreshBooks referral link into, which is right here, into bit.ly. I've created a bit link and my bit.ly URL, you can just copy that is exactly this right here. So that when somebody types in, I'll pull this up here, salesvideos.com slash freshbooks, it immediately redirects them to freshbooks using my referral URL. All right, so that was pretty simple. So what I have done is in my blog article that you may be reading right now, I'm going to edit that and I've got some aff affiliate links built in. So I have a pretty link affiliate built right in. I'm going to edit that. I'm going to copy that. I've already created this in bit.ly. Okay. So what I'm going to do is show you once you've got your pretty link or sorry, once you've got your bit.ly links, your bit links created in Bitly, in Bitly, sorry, I'm getting mixed up here. How you um, then put that into your URL mapping. So here's another example. I want to have a URL mapping where somebody goes to salesvideos.com slash pretty link. It goes to my Bitly link for that. And there it is right there. So when I save that, and go back to uh, edit this link right here. I'm just gonna say edit, I'm in my Squarespace account. What I can do now is I can change that link from a bit.ly link to salesvideos.com slash pretty link. And, and it's done. I'm gonna do that everywhere I have that term sorry did I, yeah there it is so that way when somebody is browsing this article and they click on the pretty link word it's going to redirect them to salesvideos.com slash pretty link I say open in a new window because I want that to take them to the pretty link affiliate page and that will work that way. Got one more to do here. I'll do that when the tutorial is over. Okay, so that is how you set up, set up those affiliate links. It's not as pretty in quotes as pretty link, but it will do the trick and you can track their performance here right within bit.ly. So let's say you want to have an affiliate link on your website that you want to track and you have an affiliate link and an email that you would like to track and you want to differentiate between the two. Well, you could then just set up a specific bit link for um, the email as opposed to what you're putting on your Squarespace blog or your Weebly site or Wix site or blogger page. Um, so that's it. It's just basically the solution is um, set up your Bitly account, log in your Squarespace, URL mappings, uh, 
get your affiliate link, your actual affiliate link provided by your affiliate program and paste that into Bitly as a Bitlink. So you're gonna say create Bitlink, paste it in there and it will automatically set this up here. Copy the Bitlink into into your URL mappings, just like so. Okay, another one I'm gonna put in here is get response. That is one of my favorite tools to use. If you haven't checked that out yet, by all means use my affiliate link, uh, salesvideos.com slash get response. I'm gonna do this one more time. Here's my get response bit link. I'm gonna paste that in here, put 301, and now from this point on, whenever somebody uses a link where I have salesvideos.com slash get response, it's going to use my affiliate link. Get response, case you're not aware, is an incredible email marketing tool, autoresponders, contact management, fantastic. Check it out if you're not using one for your business already. Um, and that is pretty well it. I use Squarespace as the example, but you could apply this same uh, technology or same process to, uh, you know, Weebly, Wix, GoDaddy, Website Builder, Blogger, uh, even a WordPress uh, managed site, one that you don't have access to install plugins. Uh, hope that helps and uh, have a great day. If you find this useful, please leave a, a comment below the video on YouTube uh, or please share this uh, with your friends or social connections. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. If you enjoyed it, please click the subscribe button below to subscribe to my channel. Here are some additional ways we can be social. You can also visit my website anytime for more information. Thanks again, and I look forward to connecting with you.